guys, this is Angel Nissi and a warm welcome to Angie's artwork. So, what are we gonna do today is uh, we're gonna make something like we'll be doing ourselves. And we are gonna make masks at home and this is the reference mask that we'll be using. And the things that we require are basic cotton clothes that you do not use but the design is aesthetic and you want you need to wanna you know waste it away so we'll begin with marking the outline of the mask and make sure it is one centimeter more than the mask reference mask itself okay and uh, let's begin with cutting the you know markings so here we go and then here we go here we go and here we go so another layer we'll be cutting as we are gonna make a double layered mask and uh, Cutting the cotton clothes is really fun guys. I think you should begin with trying out this yourself. A mask that will be designed by yourself and you don't have to be looking for the type of mask you are searching for. This one will be surely comfortable because you are going to make it for yourself. Okay, so these are the four layers that I have cut okay so let's begin with stitching now this is the two layers that I've taken and this is the needle and thread we'll be tying knots at the end of the thread just like this and then we'll go ahead and start with the basic stitches um, this is the most basic stitch that everyone must know and here we begin so just observe carefully and that itself is enough this is really easy okay and this is what you are gonna repeat and then pull the needle out okay so we go ahead and pull the needle out and after that we pull the cloth a bit okay so this is how it looks and just keep repeating the same and then tie a knot and cut it out okay then this is what we'll be doing for another uh, another one layer that we'll be doing as we are making a two layered mask so the stitched part will go inside and the other part will go outside okay let's begin with stitching this one too so this is the part where we will add stitches later on here we'll add stitches okay so i have already done it and then i cut away the thread so i'll just show you now about how to attach these in such a way that the stitches will go inside and the part which does not show the stitches outside making the mask look very nice so the stitched part will go inside okay so here you go so both the stitches part, stitched part will go inside and the part that does not show the stitches will go outside just like you see here. Okay guys. And now what we'll be doing is how we'll be attaching these and stitching. So this is how we will understand of which part we want outside and which, which stitched part will go inside. And here, these are the edges. Let's see, 
just like where I'm holding these are the edges we'll be stitching okay you see here but I'll be using machine and not a uh, needle this time uh, but I'll still show you the basic stitches in case you have not seen it before carefully so the basic stitches one two three four five six seven eight and there you go and these are the machine stitches that I have done since I have a sewing machine and the other edge also you will be stitching similarly and then the stitch part will go inside you remove it with using your fingers and this part you will adding it inside and then you will add a string or a, or an elastic elastic uh, string if you have and then stitch it here okay i'll do it or do this using sewing machine and the double layered mask is ready guys i also know how to make single layered mask so, guys if you want me to show you how to make single layered mask i can make another video on the same but do let me know in the comments only then i'll be making the video on the same and um, so here are the three masks that i made it myself they are super comfy and uh, really you know good to go with until then i want you to stay tuned in hakuna matata